Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today guys, I'm going to be showing you how I make my deep conditioner. Now guys, hands down, this is one of my most loved deep conditioners that I've ever used on my hair. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my conditioner. Um, stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, and you'll see more of what I actually do to make this kind of deep conditioner. Guys, firstly, what I'll need is I need my black tea. And then I also need my hat. And then I also need my hair mix. So firstly, I'm going to show you guys how I make my black tea. I like using this brand of black tea, but you can use whichever brand of black tea that you guys like. Um, it's neither here nor there, but the preference is yours. So first I put the tea bags into my jar and then I get my water, takes my water inside the jar. I like using hot water. So you put your hot water into your tea bag with your tea bag, sorry. And then you leave the tea bag and the water to infuse. Now, guys, normally what I'll do is I'll put it on the side. It doesn't have to be hot. I like it slightly warm to hot. Um, I mix it with my favorite mixing stick, mix the whole thing together, place it by the side, and then let it infuse just for a few minutes whilst we're getting all the other powders ready for us to start using. Next, we get the jar that we're going to mix all the goodness in, all the ingredients. Now, as I get the jar ready, I need to also make sure that the henna is there, which I do have here with me. So in today's deep conditioning treatment, I'm going to be mixing Arjuna, Giloy, Amla, Moringa, and henna. So first, put a couple of scoops of my henna. If you need details, guys, of why I like using these different herbs. These different herbs are absolutely amazing for your hair. So what you then do is you put in as much as you need. Guys, when I do my deep conditioning, I do not like using a little. I like using a lot of product. So I put in as much as I like into the container, to the glass container. And then next, I put in the herbs. So I'll be putting in the different um, herbs, which is my Amla, my Moringa, my Giloy, and Arjuna. Guys, I'm going to tell you why these herbs are absolutely amazing. Now, when you use Arjuna, Giloy, Amla, and Moringa mixed with your henna, it's the most amazing deep conditioner for your hair. I also put in um, fenugreek juice. So you'll find right there the corner in a black jar is my fenugreek juice, which I also include into this mixture. As you've seen it on my channel, I love my fenugreek. Fenugreek is one of my favorite herbs that I use for my natural hair. And it, I've seen my hair grow thicker. I've seen my hair retain a lot of um, length after I use my henna mix. So guys, try and use that in your hair. Um, it is absolutely amazing. Now, I mentioned to you guys that I like using um, one of my favorite herbs that I like using is Arjuna. Now, the Arjuna Back Powder is absolutely amazing for your hair. It is good for blood flow. So, so if you want to have a healthy scalp, use the Arjuna Powder because it helps um, maintain good blood levels good blood levels and that's what you're looking at doing when you're using this herb so guys i'm just continuing to put all my different herbs into my hair mix and then my next favorite hair mix powder 
is my amla guys i love amla amla is one of my favorite powders amla is absolutely amazing for hair i'll give you a few benefits of using amla it is a good conditioner it's good for conditioning your scalp it promotes healthy growth it improves the tone um, you know, especially when you like using henna because I like using henna so it improves the tone of the henna dyeing in my hair and um, it minimizing my my grays um, it boosts volumes it reduces dandruff it's a powerful powder that you can use for your hair growth I love using powder uh, different powders for my hair and and I mix it in different in, um, mixtures um, I don't only use amla um, in my deep conditioner, I also sometimes include it even in my leave-in conditioners, in my butters. Very good for hair roots and scalp. So guys, what I'm doing now is I'm mixing all the goodness, all the different ingredients. Um, I'm now mixing them together so you mix them all together so that you make sure that you know the powders are fully mixed before we bring in the, the wet ingredients. Giloy helps you combat hair problems, dandruff, scalp issues and any hair ailments that you might have. Guys, I really, really recommend that you try this in your hair. Absolutely amazing. If you have massive hair problems, I would recommend that you try Giloy. So guys, in goes in the wet ingredients. So first you put in your fenugreek, you start mixing it with the powders and then follow it on with your hair tea. So I like using my tea mix, uh, my tea spray whatever tea ingredients that I have, but my favorite is black tea. So guys, I put in my fenugreek juice and my tea into my hair mixture, and then I start mixing all the goodness together. At this point, guys, just continuously mix your ingredients. I use as much of the tea as I need and until I get to the thickness that I really like. I'm very fussy about my thickness. My ingredients have got to be thoroughly mixed so that when I'm applying it to my hair, all the goodness seeps in from the scalp to the roots. Now to finish the job, after I've mixed everything and I can see that it's now totally infused, I go in with my with my mixer. I love using my mixer. So I go in with my mixer and then I start mixing all the goodness together. I like making sure that my mix is nicely smooth. It has to be smooth when I apply it on my hair. So I mix all the goodness together. I'll be putting in the wet ingredients as I go along if I need them, but I ensure that everything is mixed properly. Infusion of the herbs and the water ingredients is absolutely key. So I ensure that everything is mixed together and I get it to the consistency that I like. I'm 
mix everything together, infuse the herbs, all the amla, the arjuna, the giloy, the henna, all those herbs, powerful ingredients for your hair. If you haven't used these ingredients, I would recommend that you look for them, put them into your natural hair, even relaxed hair. I must say, it is not only for natural hair. Whether you've got natural hair or relaxed hair, you can use these herbs on your hair. Mix them, mix them all well together. Mix all the herbs well together. When I get to the consistency that I like, I then stop the process. Now, I get my little stick, make sure that everything goes back into the jar. We never waste. You should never waste. These ingredients are absolutely amazing for your hair. But again, the important thing is to make sure that you never waste anything. So I mix it all together, finally, just to make sure everything is infused properly and my ingredients are ready to go. Hope you've enjoyed watching how I make my treatments. Please subscribe below and watch more from Ethnic Nature. Bye!